Hey, hey, everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And if you are not a subscriber here and you love paper crafting, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and share the video if you want to. Um, today is another episode of M Scrap Busters, and that is a challenge that I created, and it's a weekly challenge. And if you use that hashtag there, I can find you and leave you some love if you create what I create each week. This week, we are making some easy, easy, easy specimen pockets and photo slide pockets. So photo slide pocket is more of a little squarish kind, I believe, a little bit smaller. Um, kind of like, you know, the vintage thingamabobs. And then specimen pockets and just like this and I'll show you the different ways that I have made them this one has no film in it no vellum in it it's just paper and then it's got that wild and crazy hot pink <laughs> scrap that was the first one I did and then I thought I saw it and I thought okay I love how that looks but I also want to make one with vellum well once I made one with vellum then I couldn't go back <laughs> so I have a piece of scrap vellum here uh, I have some scrap paper here some little embellishments every once in a while around here and now I'm going to show you you can make them any size there's no measurements this piece of paper came from a die cuts with a view pack and it's got the hanger circle on it so I'm going to chop that off and then we're just going to work with this piece so I mean this is like a oh almost six inches long by like three and three fourths tall okay and then I have two um kind of window sizes this I just cut I freehanded a square and cut it out of a piece of cardboard I think this is off some kind of packaging I got in the mail this is a stamp block an acrylic stamp block so that's that window there and there and then this one is for the little photo slide so these would probably be super simple if you have a die cut machine um, you could cut these how I'm about to tell you and then you could run it through your die cut machine you could do circles you could do whatever but I wanted to show how you can make these and it's super simple to make just hand done no die cutting required no die cutting machine required okay so I have this sheet of paper I'm going to figure out what's top and what look at there that tells me that's the top <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is immediately fold back just a little lip of the cardstock now if you want to and be very precise you can totally put this in your scoreboard on your scoreboard and do that but I mean they're scraps y'all come on we can do it without a scoreboard and then after you make your little lip right here you want to fold it over and I try not to go all the way to the edge so just leave yourself a little bitty lip there I'll show you what I'm talking about see I got that little space for right there just little now you have this made you can cut your window so if you were doing this on a die cutting machine you would just pull all this back put your set your die you know your circle your square your triangle your heart that would be a cute one a heart shape do it there and then bring it out and glue it together and you're done this way though handmade no die cutting required and this is like a wonky <laughs> square it is not perfect this one I did not cut the square out perfectly across I don't care it does not matter 
You don't have to be perfect. How many times have I told y'all that? Almost every video I tell y'all that. Now, if you want to be more precise, then you need to get some type of <laughs> uh, stencil or something. That would be another way you could do this. If you've got a stencil that you love that's like a flower or something like that, you could cut it out that way. So there is what is going to be my window and I'm going to poke a hole with the end of my stylus. It's just a little pokey tool. Just big enough so that I can get my scissors, the point of my scissors, through the hole and then I'm just going to clip up to one corner and start cutting out that square. Easy as that. I remember doing stuff like this in school. Y'all remember having to cut out circles and squares and everything else by making the pokey hole in the middle and cutting it out and making little windows, especially at Valentine's Day. Do y'all remember that? And making little Valentine treat boxes and stuff and you'd have that little window in them. I loved Valentine's Day at school. It was so much fun. And taking your own little uh, Valentine boxes that you made. Oh, I loved it. Loved it, loved it. Okay, now when I close this up, yes, it's not perfect, but <laughs> what I'm looking at is, is my lip, that little lip part, going to show. And it does. So, what I'll do is just trim that off. The least little bit of trim. It does not matter if you get it perfectly straight. Just trim off some of that so it's not going to show behind this little lip here. Okay? Just like that. And look, we already got a decorative window in there whenever we um, start to put in our tag or whatever we want to put in there. We're going to ink around the window, the inside of the window, before we glue anything together. And after you do this, you're going to figure out, do I want to leave it open like this one, or do I want to get some type of packaging, you know, something that maybe a stamp set comes in, or a piece of uh, acetate, you can do that. Um, any kind of clear anything, or you can do vellum or deli paper, parchment paper, something like that. So it's kind of got that frosted look to it. So there is my window all inked. And then on this one, I'm going to leave it open just like that. Just because I love that background. I'm not going to put any vellum in it. But I will show you how I size that vellum correctly and get it glued on so you don't see it on the outside. And now I'm just going to put a little stream of glue down my hinge over here, or my gusset, whatever we're calling it. Okay. And you need to figure out right now if you want to just glue the bottom together. Do you want to just glue it right now? Or do you want to make a binding like I did on this one? And I'll show you how I did the binding. Now, on these two, I just glued them together. This one, I glued it just a little bit and then I sewed on the bottom of it with my sewing machine. Um, and that's a very, very easy way to do it. Or you can make out of another piece of scrap <laughs> a nice little binding kind of like you do on the edge of a quilt a little binding strip to close up the bottom and that way you don't lose any real estate down here too as far as putting your tag or whatever in so uh, I'm going to do this and make myself a little pencil mark and do it about, I don't know, three-fourths of an inch wide. So I'm going to cut my mark there. And then do about there. 
And then I'm going to fold this in half and you can get out your scoreboard if you want to and do this part too. Whatever. Okay. And then ink that up and you can ink both sides a lot of the times when I make things like this the backs are just going to get glued into a journal on a page so you don't have to worry about gluing the backs if you don't want to but see look at that it just gives it a little extra something something so all I'm gonna do is put a little line of glue down the fold and then just up just a little bit just so it adheres very well make sure which side is the bottom and which side is the top now <laughs> my phone will probably be going off like crazy because and I have been sobbing right before this <laughs> video <laughs> and I will let you know why okay Bethany is almost 18 and a half years old and she has never had a desire to go and get her driver's license ever she has her permit she took the written test passed it with flying colors she's fine but she has never gotten her driver's license she is terrified just terrified of it so <laughs> my folks my phone is blowing up I'm sorry um her daddy took her today we almost had to just force her to do it y'all I'm just saying <laughs> it, it was that bad she just didn't want to do it but she's in college now she's got to and so we decided let's just go do it if you don't pass that's fine but you'll learn you'll you'll figure out something it'll be fine so <laughs> Her daddy took her, I'm going to turn my volume off so you are not annoyed by that. Her daddy took her and she passed with a 96. Her instructor said, Bethany, I would trust my babies in the car with you. <laughs> I am so stinking proud of her. And it brought up... <laughs> The fact that my daddy, that was one of the things, he was tickled pink when his grandkids accomplished anything. And that was one of the things that he had wanted to see forever was Bethany, his little pigtail, as he called her, getting her driver's license. He wanted to see that so bad. And I... <laughs> I just got beside myself after I get off the phone with Brandon and Bethany. He called me with, as she was taking off with the instructor. He FaceTimed me. And then he FaceTimed me when she got out of the vehicle with the instructor. She was grinning from ear to ear, y'all. <laughs> and I sobbed and I sobbed and I sobbed when I got off that phone. And I said, she did it, Daddy. Daddy, she did it. So, <laughs> I have been a blubbering mess. And, I mean, getting your driver's license is an everyday thing for anybody else but our family. It is, it's not, it's, it's a big deal. <laughs> and I'm just so stinking proud of her. Hey, Erin, she did it. She passed her test for her driver's license. All right. <laughs> uh, he's been out um, doing his walking <clears throat> so he didn't hear the phone call a while ago oh my gracious but I'm so stinking proud of that girl she she's a nervous wreck she stays a nervous wreck y'all um, she's just that type of child she's she's nervous about everything um, tests in school which I mean she does great in school um, any kind of pressure of any kind and she is just a uh, ball of nerves 
So this is one of the biggest accomplishments for her. I'm just super proud of her. Super duper proud of her. So anyways, as Julie says, I'm waffling on and we need to crack on with this project. <laughs> Oh, y'all, the older I get, the more sobby I get. I, I cry over everything. And then, of course, after my daddy passed, it's even worse. <laughs> oh, gracious. So, I like to put something over, and I thought I silenced that. I like to put something over like a, a corner of it or something. I just think that looks better. I like these, you know, the way I've got it off the corner there, better than this one. So I think this one needs something like that too. These are stickers, so I can't do that because, you know, we've got that empty spot. We don't have vellum on the inside. Oh, I like that. Let's dull that down just a little bit though. That's some gold foil on a vintage looking phone die cut. Oh, that's cute. And use one of Miss Kelly's, Miss Kelly's, oh, Miss Katie's <laughs> word phrases. Oh, gracious. I'm, what is it the, the old timers used to say? I'm the clamped. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's craziness, but We've had such a wild week, and Bethany has started her second semester of college, and she is going into cosmetology, and she is loving it, y'all. I mean, absolutely loving it. So, I know that I'm friends with some of y'all on Facebook, and y'all have seen that. Thank you for thinking of her, and... Um, praying for her. I know that some people will think, oh, that's, that's a little goofy, praying over, you know, what she wants to be in college or whatever, but not around here. We pray about everything. <laughs> I mean, absolutely everything. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm going to put one of these stickers on that the inside there. I like this one. Oh yeah, let's do that. Oh man. So yeah, as I'm making today's in Scrapbusters video, I am I got tears rolling down my face. Oh man, happy for her and sad because Daddy can't see it, but oh so 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 proud. She's, she makes me one one happy, proud mama, that's for sure. Both of my kids do. Um, Aaron J., last week, he walked over 20 miles of exercise last week. Look at that, how cute. I love it. I think I want to put something on the tag. Over 20 miles, he walked. And when he weighed... Got on the scale Sunday morning. He had lost three pounds, so that makes him, I mean, just this close to 30 pounds he has lost. So stinking proud of him for sticking with this and cutting out some of his sweets that he loves and cutting out his um, regular Dr. Pepper that he loves. <laughs> but um, he knows that those are not good for him and his doctor is general practitioner is awesome with him and he explained it on Aaron's level when we went that day and it it was it was just a really good really good experience. Now you can put um a little notch in the top if you want to. I like this one just square it off like this. So I'm gonna leave it like that. Poke my little ribbon down there. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, now let's do one with vellum. I have got a theme going on here, and it's called beige, so. 
<laughs> if y'all want to see something else, I'm sorry. Um, let's do one with this bigger, with the bigger one, and that is my acrylic block. Let's make one that's not totally beige. Let's get away from beige for just a momento. Okay, I'm going to. <laughs> yep, I'm going to make it this big. This is going to be a big one. This is a piece of Tim Holtz wallpaper. I'm just folding over my first little lip. Okay, and then let's see how big that will be. Oh, I love the size. Okay, and then fold almost to the edge, almost to the edge. I love how that wallpaper sounds. Weak, weak, weak. And now, open that all back up, set, and figure out, do I want it right in the middle, or do I want it at the top a little bit more, whatever. And then we need to cut around it. Look at my there we go. I think I think that's pretty good. Like I said, I ain't caring if it's perfectly aligned. So now Brandon and Bethany are still gone. They um after she passed her test, of course they have to go in and she has to get her picture made for her license and do a little bit more paperwork and stuff like that and oh she had Brandon when he FaceTimed me he said she had the best instructor um she was calming and like kidding around with Bethany before they left and telling her you know girl don't you be nervous you're good and as long as you keep us safe we are going to be good and he, Brandon said that Bethany was very, very calm whenever she walked out. And um, the instructor was checking her, you know, brake lights and blinkers and all that before they set off. But she said she calmed her so much. Oh, it, it's, it is a blessing and a total God thing when you do something like that 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 it's that nerve-wracking especially for Bethany because she's a nervous child anyway it is just a blessing to find out oh okay we've got an instructor that knows exactly what she's doing and knows how to calm down these kids that she's instructing I mean you've got to have I mean, you pretty much got to have nerves of steel to be an instructor for a, for driving tests anyway. But the way Brandon talked, she was amazing. So anyway, I think that is them coming in right now. I heard the door open. We are so stinking proud of her. And I know she's happy about it, too. All right, there she is, the passer of a 96 for her driver's test. How does it feel, baby girl? Feels good. <laughs> oh, me. That is behind you, sissy. Yay. All right, so now we need to cut out our little window. And instead of doing this and making pencil marks and blah, 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 I do this either with this one or this one, whichever one I made it with, and then I just get my scissors and make sure I got a little bit of a lip. And then just cut around it. it doesn't matter if it's straight, it's not gonna be seen. It's gonna be on the inside. Okay. And then Yes, beautiful. I'm just going to put glue around the outside, just a little line. I love these sugar bill bottles. They are easy squeeze. 
no worries on the if you've got arthritis or anything like that they are so easy to squeeze and we sell those in our shop at scratchbookingwithme.com I have that always linked in my description box below beauty must love 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 all right now we can yes we can um, glue that down but since this wallpaper paper <laughs> is white on the inside I want to put something in there so that when the uh, tag comes out it's not just white back there so let me see if I've got a little piece of something that I can put back there just a little piece of scrap of some kind oh yeah I like that of course that's the inside of that one too I don't care hey I'm using up scraps right right okay so I just need it like that and I'm going to make myself a pencil mark and I'll just put it all the way across and I'm not going to worry about shaping it just perfectly and I probably will do a little notch at the top of this one yep I like that so let's dirty it up just a little bit and then glue it down So if you use pattern paper, double-sided pattern paper, you don't have to worry about this step. But you never know what you got in your scrap pile. Right, right. I got a little fruit fly wanting to get at me. Okay. Now, I am just going to glue across the bottom. I'm not going to make a little, what you call it, on this one. So I'm going to put glue on my gusset and then glue just one little line of glue across the bottom like that. Close up that gusset and then press everything down. So pretty. All right, now let's make our little pull at the top. Just a tiny one, nothing major. Walnut stain inked all around it. And then, of course, you could uh, round the corners if you wanted to, all the corners. Uh, I did that on this one. Yay, here's one with just a little bit of extra something something on it, huh? It's not all beige. Oh, I love that. I know it says feed and seed. I don't care. I love that little wood heart. And I'm going to put it on this one. Um, let's go this corner. And then we'll put some kind of something, something down there. I think Miss Katie has me some kind of script stuff. But it's not distinct writing. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe... A little something something behind that too like a little piece of lace or something this little piece of material just need a little something something put that behind there I think anyway if I put it right there where that window starts and then I can put this here and that there Oh, that's so cute. Let's do that. Let's get fabric glue. I use Fabrifix. It's my fabric glue of choice. So much so that I need to buy some more from the shop at scrapbookingwithme.com. I know y'all probably get tired of me plugging myself. Oh, well. That's why I really started the YouTube channel is so we could get more traffic to the website. But now the YouTube channel is kind of taking over everything else. And I enjoy it. 
I love making videos. There's that. And then we're going to glue down pretty much all of this, even over the window, because if you don't, it kind of pops up on you. So you want to glue it down even over the window like I have on this one so you can't really get in under that oh my goodness oh my goodness I love that one let's cut off that little piece of fabric hanging over right there and we need to make ourselves a tag to go in that one and then what I do is I just figure out how wide I need it by putting it up against it and just giving myself like a sixteenth of an inch and then after I trim that then I figure out how high I need it by just giving myself about a eighth of an inch at the bottom and then I want it to um, come up a little bit above it I don't want it to be flush I want it to stick out of the top I just like how that looks so then I cut that like that and I'm going to use my tag corner punch and then round the bottom corners just a little bit that tiniest little round and then ink it up good and this one needs some coffee dyed paper on the back of it because it is a wild pattern on the back so this one's holding a really big tag it's a big one we're gonna make a little small one a little square photo one in just a minute oh now that's cute that's probably one of my favorites I love that green um, and you can you know decorate that up any way you would like put a stamp or some kind of little let's see if this little tag would look all right back there if we did that and eh maybe I think maybe just this little scrap piece here don't make it too busy and that that way we can have plenty of room oh I like that side too yeah let's do the words I've already inked that side up let's just do it don't worry about it okay I'm gonna come over about here and make sure it's straight it don't look straight but it is and then put that down in there oh I like that cute all right let's do a square one and then I will leave y'all to it y'all already know how to make them I'm just waffling on, as Miss Julie from Community Crafts Design says. Let's do, let's do an itty one, an itty beady one. All right, little beady gusset fold right there. And it's pretty much square. It's good. Okay, and then fold over like a so so if you've got some little um, cutoffs from 12 by 12 paper amazing with this project okay if I do this you can still see quite a bit around here so you can do these as narrow towards your window as you want to or as wide out from your window but this one will pretty much look squared off I love that so with these you can just trim it with your scissors no worries about 
getting it perfectly straight. All right, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to get my little template I made. And then I'm going to try my best to put it in the middle, right in the middle, to make a pretty much photo slide. I need to go this way just a little bit. Look at me trying to perfect it. Melina, it's not going to be perfect, remember? Okay, and then I'm going to trace around my little piece of cardboard and not move it, hopefully. <laughs> then I'm going to do my little pokey tool and get my scissors going all the way to the corner and then you're pretty much home free to fussy cut out that square or whatever shape you're doing. I love making these. They're very addictive and they're so easy they can easily be ma uh, mass made. Muff mood. <laughs> Just try not to go any further than your line because then you'll have little pieces too far out, little cuts and stuff, but I'm even saving these. That's how bad of a scrapaholic I am. Okay, ink my window. Cute as a button. I love these, y'all. All the way around. I'm using walnut stain ink. I like how dark it is. And it doesn't have an orange hue to it. Sometimes Vintage Photo gives me that orangey look, and I don't like that. So walnut stain has been my, that and gathered twigs has been my two favorites here lately. Okay, so I'm going to fold back that gusset and make sure that I can't see it out this way, and I can't. And then that background is already beautiful, so I don't need to do anything to that. I do want to put a piece of vellum on this one, just because I think it's beautiful. You do whatever you would like to do, but I'm just going to give myself a little bit of space around my template. I hope this has been a very, very easy tutorial for you to follow. Um, sometimes I like to ramble on about things. Um, I love giving y'all family updates. I mean, that just, it does my heart good to be able to tell somebody things like that. So I love giving y'all family updates, but I, want, I still want my tutorials to be easy to follow. <laughs> So I try not to waffle on too much, but sometimes I do. Okay, just make sure to give yourself plenty of room to get around your, temp uh, your template where you cut it out. And that um, is something, if you don't cut right on the lines of your template, when you cut out your window from the packaging or the vellum or whatever you've cut it from, then you're going to be too short if you cut too far, you know, away from the lines or something. So I think that one's down pretty good. You just got to make sure of that before you close it up because once it's closed, y'all, she's a closed. There ain't no opening it back up. So I'm just going to take off a little bitty shave of a off of there just so that I make sure that that is not sticking out on the front side beautiful I love these little square ones these little photo slides okay I'm gonna do a little binding on the bottom so I'm not gonna worry about glue in the bottom at this moment oh that's a cute one I love it already I love it and I over exaggerate making sure that, that gusset is glued down quite well okay and then we need to do a little something something there I'm going to get this is where your little coffee dyed papers 
that you have used in the past and just cut off a piece. This is some coffee dyed paper that I cut off the height of them to fit in a journal and I saved these. And you can either sew on the bottom of them or, you know, whatever you want to do. But I don't want this to go that far up. So I'm going to fold this where it's not in the middle. And fold it about there. And I'm fine with it going up higher in the back. But I want it like that so it doesn't go all the way up to my window. Yep, that's good. And I'm going to ink the top there before I forget and glue it on and not ink it. I can ink the rest of it in a minute. So all the way across and then I'll cut off the excess. Okay, then there's my little binding at the bottom and I, it does not matter to me if it's straight across or not. I'm going to ink all of my edges all the way around. Cute. And then we got to cut just a little piece, and these are easy to cut um, little scrap pieces out of your scrap pile because they're so little. I love them though. I mean, but you can do those little um, Tim Holtz. What well, what are they called? The um, the collage tiles. Now these are some of the Christmas ones, but I think there's some in here that's not especially Christmas themed. I mean, if you had one that was tiny, you could put it in there like that. Um, a pocket that was tiny. These are a little too small, but like those little collage tiles would work if you made tiny, tiny little photo sleeves. I'm do my little pencil marks where I want it cut. I think I'll do two of these in that one. I got enough of this paper. This is thin paper too, so we can make two of them that go in that pocket. Okay, and then cut another one. The same size. Or I could do a little bit taller, like I just did. And let's leave them straight, I think. Ink the edges, and then whichever one you want as the front, do that. Oh, I like that. Let's put on a little, I think those are too big. Let's do something itty bitty, an itty bitty little die cut. So that one stinking little fruit fly, or as we call them here in the south, that gnat. Trying to bother me. Well, like that from post office. From post office. <laughs> uh, or do I like these a little bit better? Oh, this is a lighter one of that same thing. From post office. Oh yeah, I like that one better. I like that shade better on there. Okay, and then I need, ooh, I need a little butterfly. I haven't done any butterflies on these. Look at there, asking you shall receive. A lot of butterflies, and those are some little clear, transparent kind of butterfly stickers from your creative studio, that one box that I have gotten from them. I'm gonna go down here in this right corner and we've got some purple in this, so I think I will do this little transparent butterfly. Ooh, let's straighten that up just a touch, huh? And then little butterfly on the side cute. All right, I will give y'all some up close and uh, still shots at the end of this video. Thanks so much for sticking around. Oh, and on this one where I stamped on it, I used Stays On Ink. 
um, I can do, since this one says post office, I'll do this one too, just to show you how you can do that. I use stays on very, very, very seldom, just because I'm not super fond of this ink, but when you are stamping on vellum or any kind of glossy anything, it's super amazing because it dries and it will not come off. It will not smear when you use stays on. So that's how I did that. There we go. Love it. I'll give y'all some photos at the end. Y'all have a great day. God bless. I will see you in the next video and make sure if you make some easy photo slides or specimen cards that you use the hashtag mscrapbusters so I can see them and leave you some love. Y'all are my people. God bless. Bye y'all.